Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another Scrum Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be covering creating books and formatting them to include custom font sizes, uh, different fonts and images, and just cover a couple of other bits and bobs and things that I've sort of come across in my experience um, when doing sort of books and notes within Skyrim. So what I'm going to do is use a Cat's Life, one of my upcoming mods at the time of this video, just to kind of showcase exactly how to do a custom book, or in this case, a custom note. Um, what you'll see here, it's got a custom ID, it's got a name. Uh, I can set weight and value to if I, to if I really want. I can have a skill learned from it. Uh, so any of the, the Skyrim skills, I'm not going to do that. Uh, you can change the world art, but if you do it in inventory art, then you're going to need to make sure you know what the exact NIF is to kind of match it. So in this case, note 0 to NIF with note 2. You can tend to just sift through the ones here in preview to get the exact look that you want. So if I scroll down, if I'm like, ah, wait, that's the book that I want. Double click into here, and I can just kind of copy the world art in there. And then I've got the inventory art that I know to match up with it. Uh, so you'll see some of the, the books and the notes in the game can be quite extensive. And when you get things this long, you'll kind of notice one main thing that I want to cover first is that Bethesda doesn't seem to try too hard to make sure that all the text that they want fits on the pages beautifully. Now, the reason that I've found not to bother trying to do this myself is is that there are a lot of mods out there that can make changes to the default fonts which can change their size to make them bigger or smaller. Maybe not on purpose, but what that means is something that in your game may fit perfectly on a page. You'll find that um, if somebody did a review, for example, of your mod later on down the line and it doesn't fit on theirs, it's because they've got a custom font installed and it all goes to hell. So you just want to do it sort of on a, a basic level. So you want to make sure, obviously, your titles may be on the first page and it's split across to another page for who made it uh, and then where the text starts for example now a cool thing that you can do and I'm just going to continue using this one as an example for this bit because I haven't actually got this in my own um, but there are some default kind of images and artwork that you can use from the game itself uh, for things like fancy letters at the starts of paragraphs. So you'll see here that they're using a really nice fancified eye. You might have seen them, the kind of really um, illustrative large letters at the starts. It's kind of a, a really cool old medieval thing. Uh, what I can probably do is navigate to it in Skyrim Unpacked. So it says it's in textures, interface, books. Let's have a look. Textures, interface, books and illuminated there we go so all of these fancy things if you want to use these or in fact if you want to use anything else uh, you can kind of direct to the game's own assets which is really cool but we'll come back to that in a moment um, and essentially i'm just going to come out of this and just show mine because it's got quite a lot of the other stuff here uh, what you use is different markup tags to align your text, pick the size of the font and make things bold and various different things. Now, if you want a good reference for what to use, what's available, then I would strongly recommend going over to the Creation Kit Wiki, which is essentially where I learned how to do all of this stuff. I kind of started messing around with it and see what it did, uh, check out what the the game's own kind of books and notes do. But you'll see you've got all the markup tags here, which is really handy. Uh, you've also got the various font sizes and the limits. And you've got the fonts themselves. So if you want to do cool Daedric font, um, uh, Dragon font, Dwemer font, Falmer font, Mage script font, which I'm quite fond of, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Um, also, if you do some searching on Google, you'll find some sites that allow you to kind of translate English into um, exactly what you want for this stuff so if you want something written in dragon language then you can also use the font and you get to keep your book or note sticking with the law which is really really cool uh, so there's a lot of useful information on here that you should probably come along and take a look at i'll leave a link down in the description for that um, but that's going to let you know of all the various tags that you can use um, so if ever you're not sure quite how a certain tag works Kind of try and hunt one down in the actual game books. Uh, take a look at how some of these are done and even have a look at them in game. 
Something that I've noticed is this can be an awful lot of trial and error. Uh, there is a way that you can have your creation kit save changes in real time while the game's still loaded, but it's not something that I've ever done, so I'm not going to be covering that, um, at least not in this video. Um, but otherwise, if you don't have that set up, you're just going to have to keep loading in the game, picking up your book, giving it a read and seeing what it looks like. It's going to be a lot of trial and error to try and, uh, try and figure out what your font size should be, whether sh something should be bold, uh, whether an image is being picked up, if it's too big, too small. Uh, so it's a bit annoying, but yeah. Uh, this for me fits on one page, but like I say, it could end up being that somebody installs a mod that makes that font a bit bigger, and then it's going to seep over the page. There's not an awful lot you can do, but a recommendation that I would say is always leave a bit of a gap at the bottom of each page before you do what's essentially a page break to force it onto another page. Just gives a little room for the font being larger or smaller. Might not look as good as a full page of text, but it's probably better than words kind of seeping across onto another page and it kind of ruining the way that all of your, your writing flows. Um, so yeah, you've got things like alignment, like I say. Uh, the main one that I really wanted to cover in this video is images. So what I want to mention here is in order to point at a specific image that you want to put on the page, you're going to want to put the exact file path of it in. Um, but only starting with textures. So for example, if I go to my data folder here and I go to textures, ACL and books where I've put stuff, I click on here, you'll see uh, it's starting from textures. You don't put the whole G, Steam library, Steam apps, common scrum data, blah, 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 because everybody's going to be different. This is going to be looking purely from the data folder. So you then assume it's staring at the data folder and you fill in the blank exactly what, what's from there. So textures, AC or books in my case. If you're storing things in interface like the wiki recommends, then you're going to put interface and then whatever folders kind of follow. And then just add a backslash and the exact name of your file plus the file extension. So that's the other thing you'll notice. It's actually PNG. Uh, you can straight up use a PNG, so you don't need any special software or Photoshop with a plugin or GIMP for that matter to do like a special DDS file, which textures usually are. You can literally just use PNGs. So even if you found a, a plain PNG off the internet for something that you wanted, like a hammer or something, then you can go ahead and use that. Uh, the size doesn't matter too much. I always say make sure that it's a, a reasonably big size. Uh, 512 by 512 pixels tends to work for me. And then what you can do is when it comes into the game, you essentially state the exact dimensions that you want. And what I usually do here is I just copy this line from any other book within the game, and then I just swap out the texture path, and I swap out the exact dimensions. I've gone for 156 because I wanted this to take up the majority of the page, and I think that's very much near the limit of the size that you can put on before it just doesn't appear or it shows kind of a, a buggy default image. Uh, you'll also get a buggy default image if this is incorrect. If you make any mistake here, if any part of this line is incorrect, you're going to have either nothing there or something horrible is going to show. Um, so yeah, as long as you get the file path right in there and it's sitting where it should, you're all good. Uh, do also make sure that if you do use custom images and stuff for your mod, you want to make sure those are included in the final packaged up mod as well. Otherwise, everyone else is just going to see a blank page, nothing on there. Uh, now, there are other ways that you can, other things that you can do in here. You can kind of put the player's name in here, uh, which will link directly into quests. But I think I'm going to cover that in a different video because um, it goes into quest aliases and stuff like that. But that's another thing that you can actually do. Um, but just putting like the alias player in here won't heed any results without linking it to an alias. Um, so there we go. What I want to do is I just want to go in game essentially now and just show you my example of this. So what we're expecting to see is a center aligned pet stores open title uh, with an image beneath it with quite a bit of space. You'll see I've put spaces that do count as long as there's something underneath it. Um, that will be center page. And then I made a page break and that's where the text starts. And due to the fact that I've made this of size font 17, it should just about fit on the page. But like I say, if somebody's got other mods installed that change the font, change the size, that could be a problem for other people. So there's a compatibility thing there to be aware of. And then I've just sort of signed it Melvin. Um, I don't think I actually did like handwritten font here. I kept it kind of default. But one thing that you might want to do if you're doing something that seems like a note that somebody literally scribbled to you, um, you can always use the, the handwritten font here, which is a really cool one. 
so that's just about it that really covers it um it is going to be a lot of trial and error but i've already tested this so what we're going to do is go in game we're going to get the courier to show up and deliver this to me which happens at the start of the mod and i'll show you what a finished product of a custom note in this case would look like Okay, so here we are in game, and I'm just going to try and hunt down the courier. I think he's around here somewhere. I'm not, not sure where he's hiding. He usually shows up and gives me my note. Let's just wait around now to see if he shows up. Ah, here he is. Stood behind the cat itself. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Get through his usual dialogue. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. That might be something that I'll cover in the future as well, how to get notes to be delivered by the courier. But today we are just interested in this note. So here's my note, it's got the name on it. And when you open it up, you'll see that I've got my, my custom image. What I might want to do with that is make it a little more transparent so it kind of fades into the note itself a bit better. And you'll also notice that I've actually got a custom font on. So it seems a lot smaller than it usually would be. Um, and it's definitely something to take into consideration, like I say. Um, but you'll see I've got the page break there, um, I've got the image, I've got the title, it's all centred, and then this is all shifted to the left. And there is actually a good gap at the end there that I must have left, and with that size of 17, make sure that this doesn't seep over to another page. So the example would be that the hope to see you soon Melvin would end up seeping onto another page, which would be pretty bad. Um, but yeah... That's, that's it. I think this is a slightly older version of the mod because I wanted it in special edition so this video didn't look a bit small with my uh, my legacy. Um, but yeah, that's it's as simple as that. That's how you make an image appear on there. Um, don't be disheartened if an image doesn't appear straight away. Uh, it can be a bit fiddly, like I said, and a bit of trial and error, especially with the sizes, um, in trying to get one on there. And if you experience any problems, uh, you can always try and just use a default image from the game itself. So you can actually use some of those nice kind of medieval style um, squiggly large illustrative uh, letters on the front. And try and use one of those just to make sure that you've got like your, your stuff set up correctly and make sure it's not your image causing the problem. And that is just about it for this video, so please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button if you want to see more videos in the future such as this one. You can also go ahead and support my work if you so wish over on Patreon. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.